Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and today we're doing fractions! Yay! Fractions! Now it's true some people have a bit of a phobia about fractions. If I were to ask you to write down a quarter, a lot of people do prefer the decimal version rather than fractions. A lot of people never really got fractions when they did it for the first time and they've always struggled with it and so they just prefer decimals. It's a bit of a safer bet. But as you get further on in maths, as the maths becomes more advanced, it turns out that fractions are not only more important but actually they become a lot easier to use than decimals. Decimals can become very unwieldy with more advanced maths. So you really do need to master fractions. If at some point you want to tackle algebra, as we go further and further into maths, fractions is one of the key foundational topics you need for algebra. There's basically three topics you need to get before you can cope with the algebra. Fractions is one, negative numbers is another one, and then indices or powers is the third topic. But fractions is important for lots of topics in maths, not just algebra. And if you have struggled with it in the past, you really do need to get to grips with it. You can't keep relying on your decimals. You'll be forever on the back foot in maths if you don't get to grips with your fractions. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the key concepts and then talking about the videos we'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. We're doing some adding, subtracting and all the different things you can do with fractions. So first of all then, what is a fraction? Well, the basic concept is really very straightforward. It's just a piece of pie, or pizza, or whatever food you like. So if I eat a quarter of a pizza, you would write that like so. The number on the top just tells me how many bits I've got, and on the bottom, that's how many pieces you've got all together. So that's a quarter. Uh, you can have different shapes though. If I had to shade in four eighths of a rectangle like this one, say, then you could split it into eight pieces. If we've got four eighths, remember the number on the bottom is how many bits you've got all together, and the number on the top, four, is how many bits you've actually got. So if I were to shade in four eighths, I could do it like that. So this is a quarter, this is four eighths, and many of you will spot that this is the same as a half. I've actually got half of this shape here. And it's possible to write fractions in many different ways. You can take exactly the same fraction, exactly the same amount of stuff, and write it with different numbers on the top and the bottom. Let me explain what I mean. If we take a quarter, then it's possible to multiply the top and bottom of this quarter by another number, and you can change it into different numbers, but really it's the same fraction. So if I times the top and bottom of this by two, so two ones two, two fours eight, I get two eighths. Now this is the same amount of stuff as this. If I just divide this pizza up into eight slices rather than four, hopefully you can see that. Now we've got eight slices, but I haven't changed the amount of pizza I've got, but now I've got two eighths, two eighths, instead of the one quarter that we had before. But these are exactly the same fraction, and it turns out if you times the top and bottom of any fraction by the same number, the fraction doesn't change. You still have the same amount of stuff. And it works the other way as well. If you take a fraction like this, 4 eighths, you can divide the fraction down to make the numbers smaller. So if I divide the top and bottom of this fraction by 4, 4's four into 4 go once, 4's into 8 go twice, you can see this is the same as a half, which is obvious from the picture really. But this process of dividing down and making the numbers smaller is very important in math and it's known as simplifying or sometimes it's called cancelling. Whenever you give a fraction as an answer in maths, you must always cancel it or simplify it so you've got the smallest numbers possible on the top and bottom. So, just to reiterate then, you can multiply the top and the bottom by, uh, of a fraction by any number and it doesn't change. You can divide the top and bottom of a fraction by any number and it doesn't change. And that principle becomes really important for lots of topics in lots of different parts of fractions as the different things that we do with them. So this one, for example, is really important with adding and subtracting. This cancelling is so important, I've done another, another video on cancelling. So if you want to see um, simplifying fractions or cancelling fractions, go and watch that video. Now one other thing, a lot of people tend to think the number on the top of a fraction is always smaller than the number on the bottom. Now most of the time that is true, but sometimes it's not. Let me show you. Imagine you've got pizza again, and I'm going to split it into quarters, but I'm going to have more than one pizza. Well, a pizza and a quarter. 
So I've got a whole pizza here and I've got one extra quarter as well. So the way you'd normally write that is one and a quarter. I've got one whole pizza, that's the one whole bit, and a quarter, which is there. So most people will understand this as one and a quarter pizzas. But in math, there's a bit of a problem with this. This is known as what's called a mixed number. It's mixed because you've got a whole number bit and a fraction bit. And you can't do maths on mixed numbers. That's so important, I'm gonna say it again. You can't do maths on mixed numbers. So in maths, if we wanna do something with this, if we wanna multiply it by another fraction or add something to it, you have to convert it into what's called a top-heavy fraction. A top-heavy fraction would look like this. One and a quarter is the same as five quarters. You can see, looking at the picture here, you've got one, two, three, four, five quarters. Five quarters. So these two things are the same, and this is just another way of writing this. These are exactly the same. The number on the top, though, you notice is bigger than the number on the bottom, so we call this a top-heavy fraction. Sometimes people call these improper fractions. I prefer top-heavy because it's a bit more obvious what's going on there. But this process of converting between mixed numbers and top heavy fractions, and back again, um, is very important. So I've done another video on that. If you want to know how to convert between those two things, go and watch that video. Then we've got the four operations. You've got adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, which obviously you can do with fractions. Now usually, adding and subtracting is easier than multiplying and dividing, so we tend to do those things first. But with fractions, funnily enough, multiplying and dividing turns out to be much easier than adding and subtracting. So I'll be doing the multiplying and dividing videos first, then we'll come on to the adding and subtracting videos later. So that's the overview. Check out the individual videos as they come out over the next couple of weeks. My name is Jonathan Hicks and you're watching Teach Me Maths. Mm -hmm.